Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to fluid mechanics. So in the previous videos we discussed about viscosity, about viscous drag force given by Stokes law and then terminal velocity. So in this video we are going to discuss about uh, patterns of uh, fluid flow or nature how, of how uh, fluids uh, they flow in uh, what kind of pattern uh, they flow okay so you know the basic uh, nature of fluid flow it is very difficult to study without simplifying it with certain assumptions okay it is very complicated it is very difficult to study for example if we say the flow of uh, river okay or uh, if we look at a chimney the rise of smoke you know it is very difficult to study the pattern in which uh, the flow happens but each you know each molecule of uh, you know each fluid molecule be it each droplet of water or uh, each smoke particle their behavior is governed by newton's law of motion but if we take if we combine them all together okay then it will be very complicated uh, to describe their motion so certain assumptions are uh, taken to simplify this whole study process first assumption is that the fluid whenever it is under study the fluid motion it is assumed that it is non viscous okay so there is no fluid friction between adjacent layers of fluid second it is incompressible that is density is constant throughout and third is that the fluid motion is considered to be steady okay it means that the velocity density pressure it does not change at each point with respect to time so the types of uh, fluid flow or liquid flow it can be basically divided into two main categories first streamline flow or steady flow second one is turbulent flow so first we'll discuss about streamline flow so streamline flow or steady flow here there are two characteristics that are important first the first characteristics of streamline flow is that it follows fixed well defined paths and second fixed velocity at each point so here please pay attention to the second point here i have not said that it has fixed velocity throughout at each point the velocity is fixed so let us try to understand these two fixed well defined paths and fixed velocity as each point let us say we have fluid molecules which take this curved path starting from a it goes through b then it goes through c so these are the liquid molecules okay at a at b and at c so a liquid molecule which comes let's say it is at this position then it goes through this position then it goes through a then it takes the path like this it reaches b then like this like this it reaches uh, c and then up to here here like this so here what i am trying to say by streamline flow is that every fluid molecule which you know which reaches this point it takes this path this curved path abc that is called as fixed well defined path that is the first characteristics it has a proper fixed well defined path then the velocity at each point 
is fixed here the velocity at this point let's say it is let's say it is v0 okay and this velocity is you know given by drawing a tangent to this curve path so at each point let's say we have this curve path so if we want to find out the velocity as this point we just simply draw a tangent and that gives us the direction of velocity so here all the fluid molecules which reach this point okay this point they will all have the same velocity equal to v0 when this fluid molecule it reaches point a it will have velocity v1 which is given by drawing the tangent at point a when this fluid molecule it reaches point b it will have velocity v2 which is given by drawing tangent at this point b when this fluid molecule it reaches point c it will have velocity v3 which is drawn which is given by drawing tangent v3 here v1 v2 v3 they are different velocities they are not the same but the velocity at point a will always be v1 the velocity at point b will always be v2 the velocity at point c will always be v3 that cannot be changed there will be different uh, velocities throughout the path whole path but the velocity at each point will be the same likewise the velocity at this point will always be the same the velocity at this point will always be the same the velocity at this point will always be the same the velocity at this point will always be the same so every fluid mo molecule or liquid molecule which, re which reaches these specific points they will attain the respective constant velocities at those points okay so this is the second characteristics which i said which is fixed velocity at each point that so here it does not mean throughout the whole path there is only one fixed velocity no velocity at each point is fixed and that is given by drawing tangent to the curved path velocity is given by that okay so these are the two important characteristics of streamline or steady flow fixed well defined path it will always have a fixed well defined path and fixed velocity at each point and if we combine or group a number of steady or streamline flow paths that is called as bundle which is a group of streamline flow paths so they are fixed well defined paths the fluid molecules or liquid molecules they take that path all the characteristics are same that is fixed velocity at each point well defined path but it is just a grouping of multiple streamline flow paths that is called as bundle okay so this is another characteristics of streamline flow another important kind of special category of streamline flow is called as laminar flow okay it is a special case of streamline flow where the liquid it flows as straight paths okay straight paths and a number of such straight line paths or parallel layers that gives us the laminar flow so here it is straight paths and grouping of multiple paths which gives us parallel layers okay that is called as laminar flow which is a special case of streamline it is streamline because it is a grouping of such well defined paths but here in case of normal streamline it can be curved the paths can be curved okay but in laminar flow it is straight but all the characteristics or properties of streamline path are satisfied they are fixed they are well defined and 
the characteristics of fixed velocity at each point that is also satisfied but here it is straight line parallel layers they move or propagate a straight line grouping of parallel layers okay so this is streamline or steady flow next we have turbulent flow so it is just the opposite of streamline flow it is not well defined they do not have well defined paths it is you know it lacks order so it is disorderly flow where the speed and direction of the liquid particles they change with time they're different at different place the direction is not it is it is random and the best way to visualize turbulent flow is letting a liquid pass through a narrow point okay a narrow constriction obstruction kind of a thing so what happens just before the constriction the liquid flows in well defined paths just like streamline flow or steady flow well defined paths with fixed velocities at each point is you know fixed uh, in a in 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 a way, well organized way but just as it passes through this narrow obstruction this narrow constriction it forms whirlpools or eddies as they are called okay it forms whirlpools or eddies just near the constriction and then at a little distance away from it the flow becomes turbulent disorganized random speed and directions just like this turbulent flow okay in different directions different velocities no order nothing okay this is turbulent flow okay this is the one of the you know important examples of turbulent flow okay so generally when liquids they travel at low velocities lower speeds they behave as streamline flow paths okay it is called as streamline flow or steady flow okay when they move or flow at low speeds but as the speed is increased the streamline flow it gets converted into turbulent flow and that is achieved by this narrow constriction which increases the velocity of the fluid by rushing it you know the rushing a large volume of liquid through a small surface area it accelerates it it increases its velocity and hence when velocity of the fluid or liquid is increased it gets converted into turbulent flow just like this okay so if we compare steady flow or streamline flow which is well organized in well defined paths turbulent flow is just the opposite okay so there is another important parameter called as critical velocity which we'll discuss in a separate video which gives us the velocity at which streamline flow gets converted into turbulent flow okay so there are important concepts critical velocity reynolds numbers so we'll discuss it in a separate video okay so here we have discussed about turbulent flow okay next important uh, concept is the rate of flow or flow rate of fluids so basically a uh, flow rate of fluids is the volume of a uh, liquid passing through a given cross section in 1 second okay the volume passing through a point in 1 second the volume of liquid passing through a point in 1 second so it is expressed as capital q the symbol capital q which is v by t that is volume of liquid passing through a given point divided by time taken or we can express it as volume passing a given point per second this so let us try to understand it let us say we take a small cross section of a pipe carrying a liquid 
the cross sectional area of the pipe is A. The liquid is moving at a velocity V. Let's say in a time t, okay, in time t seconds, moving with velocity V, it covers a length L, okay, it covers a length L, where L is equal to V t, okay, distance covered by the liquid in t seconds moving at velocity V, so it is velocity multiplied with time which gives us the length or distance. So here for this small section if we try to determine the flow rate Q it is simply V by T volume divided by time. So volume here is area into length which is equal to A into L okay volume is equal to A into L which is in the numerator divided by t volume by t where v is equal to area into length to give us the volume now l is equal to vt okay we calculated l is equal to vt from here length or distance is equal to velocity into time so here if we substitute l with vt it becomes a into vt divided by t so here it is a v t by t t t gets cancelled so it is simply A V. So flow rate Q is cross sectional area multiplied with velocity of the liquid. Okay. So flow rate here is equal to Q which is equal to A into V. Cross sectional area of the pipe multiplied with a liquid velocity. And this is called as the discharge equation. So this uh, equation will come in handy in our upcoming discussions where we'll discuss more such things related to liquid flow through pipes. Also in measurement and instrumentation we'll discuss flow meters okay, to measure the flow rate of liquids. This uh, equation will come in handy and this whole concept will come in handy. So this is the discharge equation to give us the flow rate of liquids flowing through a pipe. Okay. So here we have discussed about the basic nature of uh, fluid flow or liquid flow, streamlined flow and turbulent flow. Okay. So and also about flow rate. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Okay. So uh, have a great day. Thank you very much.